Hi everyone and let's continue our discussion. So we are going to start with support and resistance. So we are going to look at support and resistance from a chart point of view and from like let's say round numbers point of view that is the Fibonacci retracement point of view. Okay, so let's understand the concept. Let's learn how to apply it and then proceed. Okay, so let's discuss support and resistance. So support and resistance is one of the key factors or key important aspect of technical analysis. It represents key junctures in the market where the forces of demand and supply meet. Support and resistance are the tools used by analysts, chartists and technicians to help them identify and follow a price trend. They are not predictors of where the price will reverse but merely indicate the possible or probable levels. Okay, so imagine you're sitting in a room right which has a floor and a roof on top of you and the stock is a ball okay so if you hit the stock if you push the stock down towards the floor the floor is give, going to give it support and the ball is going to bounce back same way if you throw the ball up and it it is going to hit the roof of your room it is going to get resistance from the roof and going to come down so that's the concept whenever this whenever a stock that is a ball goes towards the support it gets some support at that uh, from the floor and it bounces back up same way if a ball that is a stock goes towards the roof it is going to get some resistance from the roof and going to come down so that's the concept so this is the stock line so whenever stock comes to a support it generally bounces back up because it gets some support new buyers enter and it goes up when it goes to a resistance generally it goes down because it starts facing resistance from the sellers and it comes down so what are supports and resistances supports and resistances are level right in which whenever the stock hits those levels the stock changes direction on a support the downtrend reverses and it starts an uptrend on in a resistance the uptrend reverses and a downtrend is started now why does that happen so support are price levels at which new buyers enter the stock trading so whenever new buyers enter the stock gets like the demand of the stock increases and the stock rises in value resistance are level wherever new sellers in, enter into the stock trading game so whenever new sellers enter the supply of the stock increases and the stock falls down so that's the concept of support and resistance now it's it doesn't mean that the support and resistance cannot be broken example in this case the resistance is broken right so support and resistances can be broken they are not permanent levels that stop the stock right they are just temporary levels so let's discuss the concept then i'll show you how to apply them so what is a support support is the price level where buying pressure overtakes selling pressure new buyers enter so the buying pressure increases and the market reacts by moving the stock higher as the price declines towards the support and gets cheaper, buyers get more inclined to buy and seller gets less inclined to sell. So it, it depends on human emotions. Support is where a declining trend is expected to halt temporarily and due to concentration of demand, the trend reverses. Does not always hold and breaks like the stock can break below the support signal. That is the bears have won over the bulls and indicates new willingness to sell or lack of incentive to buy. Resistance is the price level where selling pressure overtakes buying pressure and the market reacts by moving lower. As the price advances towards resistance level, sellers becomes more inclined to sell and buyer becomes less inclined to buy. It is where an advancing trend can be expected to halt and the concentration of supply increases. So resistance is reversed. The stock is moving up. It faces resistance from the roof and starts to fall. Does not always hold and a break above resistance signals that the bulls have won over the bears and shows 
new willingness of people to buy the stock and not to sell. So this is an example in a real life situation. So this is MCAN Mortgage Corporation. So it's a Canada based stock. So I've given you examples of support and resistance. So this is an example of a support level. So whenever stock falls to the support, right, new buyers enter, right, example, the stock was coming down, coming down, it went down to the support level, okay, and it bounced back up from there. Then again, it started to go down. It went to the support level, stayed there for a bit, but eventually it moved up higher. So this is an example of a support. So support is the level. We'll, I'll talk about how to identify them. But support is a level, right, at which new buyers enter. That's the reason stop the stock stops to fall and goes up in value. Same way, resistance is this level so example the stock is rising 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 it goes to a resistance level new sellers enter right and the stock starts to fall so resistance is a level at which new sellers enter they increase the supply of the stock and the stock starts to fall now the trading technique is if you can identify support and resistances then you can trade on it Traders generally buy at support levels and they sell at resistance levels. Okay. So how do we find support levels? So one technique is we generally join two bottom, right? So example, this was bottom number one for the stock and this was bottom number two for the stock. We join them and we extend the line. Okay. We join two bottoms and extend the trend line. I'll show you how to do that. That's not a very effective mechanism. I'm going to show you a better way. Okay. So whenever stock goes to this trend line, it should technically bounce back, right? If the support holds. How to identify the resistance? Join two top levels. So top number one and let's say top number two. So join two tops and extend the trend line. So whenever stock reaches this trend line, it should technically have some resistance and fall back, right? Fall down. Okay. Now supports and resistance can be broken. Support, once it is broken, it will start acting as a resistance and resistance once broken will start acting as a support. So whenever support is broken, let's say the stock is falling, 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 falling. It reaches the support level. It breaks it and it goes down. Now that previous support will start acting as a resistance. So whenever the stock goes up, it will face resistance and fall back down. Same way, when a stock is rising and it has a previous resistance, if it breaks through and goes up, that resistance will now start acting as a support. So whenever the stock falls back down, that resistance will give some, that stock will face some resistance and bounce back up. Okay, so this is an example. So this stock had a resistance line here. So it was trading, 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 and eventually it broke the resistance. Now you can see that resistance will start acting as a support. So whenever stock falls to this resistance level, which is now a support level, it will bounce back up. So resistance once broken will start act like a support and vice versa. Okay, now how do we trade on support and resistances? So in an uptrend, look for supports to go long, whereas in a downtrend, look for resistances to go short. Simple technique, in an uptrend, whenever a stock is in an uptrend, you should look for supports to go long on it. And whenever it is in a downtrend, you should look for resistance to go short on it. Okay, so example is, sell at resistance whenever it goes, buy at supports whenever it reaches. So this is the support. Whenever it falls, you buy here and you sell at resistance. Resistance once broken, it will start acting as a support. So let's apply this practically. I'll show you how to apply it practically like with Canadian stocks. So uh, I use investing. I use a paid platform, not investing.com, but you might not have access to that. So I'm going to show you on investing.com, which is a free website. So let's look at 
Royal Bank of Canada, the overall trend on this stock has been up. So Royal Bank of Canada, I'm typing it on the search bar. Then I'm clicking on the technical chart. Okay. I'll find, I'll show you a better way of finding support and resistance levels. So I generally look at candle chart and I use Hikinashi candles just because they're much smoother. Okay. So go to candle and click on Hikinashi candles because they're smoother candles. Just the easy way to do it. Okay. Now if you see the overall trend on this stock is uptrend. So this bottomed out in the COVID-19 pandemic and then it started to show an uptrend. Now the stock is currently trading at this price. You want to trade on this stock. So you want to identify supports and resistances. So first is how to identify a support. So stock price is this 132.84. So to identify support, look left and go down and identify all the valley patterns that are below the current stock price. The current stock price is this. So whatever valley patterns are below this price, right, is the support price of that stock. So example, so this is a recent valley pattern. So look left and down, identify the closest valley pattern, V pattern. So you can see stock goes down, it creates a valley and it goes up. Now identify the candle, identify the candle that has the lowest base. Identify the candle that has the lowest base. So this candle has the lowest base, right? This fat candle has the lowest base. Base is this. These are threads where we are not looking at threads. We are identifying the base because that's the closing price. So that is one level you should look at. So we are going to draw a trend line. So I'll show you how to do that. So this is the line thing. Okay. Go to horizontal line, right? This is one level. So 118.33, the base of the lowest candle, the base of the lowest candle, that is the support point. That is the support point. Now, Generally, support never acts like a single line. So I, I believe in trading in zones. So rather than having a support line, I create something called as support zones. So identify the base of the triangle. That's the upper point and identify the thread of the triangle, like thread of the candle. That's the lower point. So upper point base, lower point thread. So this is the support zone for Royal Bank of Canada. How did we identify it once again? Identify the valley pattern that is closest. So this stock is trading here 132.84. The valley pattern that is closest to this chart to this stock is this one. Okay. So we identified the valley. Now we identified the lowest candle in that. So lowest candle is this one. So we had, we marked the base of the candle and we mark the thread of the candle. That is the support zone for this stock. So, and it has hold up. So this support also coincides with this level. So stock went down, got some support, bounced back up. Stock went down, got some support in this zone and bounced back up. So this is the support zone for Royal Bank stock. So in future, if this stock starts falling and it goes to this level, so this will be your first buying opportunity in this stock based on support levels. Okay. How to identify resistances now? To identify resistances, the price level is 132.84. So the resistance level is look left and go up. So the closest hill to this price, the closest hill to this price is actually the actually this one. So stock went up right it, it got some resistance it went down again so the closest till hill is this point okay up and down so level is this we look left we go up we identify the closest hill we do the same thing we identify the top of the candle and the top of the thread so that is our resistance zone now so i want a horizontal line so 
top of the candle and top of the thread so this is my resistance zone 139 to 140.34 so if the stock goes to this level that could be a good opportunity to take some profit or to short sell it volume are, volume is important if it goes to this level and starts falling with volume then you short the stock if it goes to this level and starts rising with volume you go long on the stock okay we'll do it one more so let's look at some other stock so let's look at fortis which is a canadian utilities company it's not here. let's look at td bank we already saw a bank i'm thinking something else so let's say shopify okay technical chart okay click on full screen so that you can view better i love candlestick chart and hikinashi because they are smoother okay and let's change the time frame you can look at different time frames we'll talk about like how to choose a time frame i'm choosing a weekly time frame okay zooming in stock is trading at 55.41 i want to identify support and resistance on this stock so stock is trading here the closest support is the valley pattern that is being formed closest to the stock so this is the valley pattern it went down it went up so it created a v pattern valley pattern so the lowest candle in this valley pattern is this red candle so i'm going to draw my like zone support zone based on that so base of the candle and base of the thread again so that's my support zone 32.87 to 35.89 that's my support zone for shopify stock so if shopify goes down and it goes in this range right and it bounces back with volume that could be a good point to go long on this stock that is buy this stock same way if i want to go short on this stock the resistance level the stock is trading here right the closest resistance level is this hill pattern this hill okay there is also resistance here but that is further out this is the closest hill pattern so a small bump up then going down so I'll draw the resistance level based on that. Okay, so this is the resistance level 87.73 and 94.78. Whenever the stock goes up, it can hit resistance here and start moving down. Okay, so identify the valley that's your support zone identify the hill that is your resistance zone stock goes into support right technical analysts generally buy stock goes into resistance technical analysts generally go short or sell okay so please practice practice a few stocks so that you are familiar with it and in the next session in the next video we'll talk about fibonacci retracements okay Thank you so much. See you in the next one.